Hello my artsy fam and welcome back to another vlog of me tufting these rugs. So first of all, can we get a little commotion for this fit right now? It is cargo pants, but they're sweatpants. And then it came with this really cute top. I ended up getting it in a super cute blue color, a black color, and then this gray color. And then I found some other cargo sweatpants that were the comfiest, softest fabric ever. And so because my life is a lot of crafting in my art room, I wanna look cute, but I also wanna be cozy because I sit all day and I craft all day. And in the future, I'm gonna be traveling in a van. So I'm still gonna want comfy clothes. I'm just a comfy clothes girl and I have started to embrace it. I love all the comforts. That is my first tangent. Currently at Walmart, hurry up and go get it. I got little smiley face shoes to match my smiley face rug. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I've done so far. Okay, so to update you guys, I made this super cute little thing. And basically what this is gonna be is this is gonna be like a keyboard rug where like I'm gonna be able to have my keys here and rest my wrists here. I saw some other people do it and I just thought it was cute and I had some extra space. So I was like, why not? So I have to carve that out. All I did was tuft it and I didn't carve in between like I normally do. And then I've made my Tate B rug. Now I've run into a little bit of problems with the letters and I feel like it's all gonna come as a learning curve because this is my first time doing something pretty intricate with letters. So I'm really excited to be able to try this. It didn't turn out exactly how I had envisioned it, but I'm still not done. So today I'm gonna be cleaning it up and seeing if I can make this rug look super, super beautiful and exactly the way that I want. This is as far as I got today. I just tufted these rugs and sometimes it can hurt my back. So I decided to sit down and start working on a custom crochet order. I am making this outfit for one of my friends who's going to be wearing it to North Coast Fest coming up at the end of this month. And then once I had finished the skirt, I started working on another project for my friend Amanda. She's having a baby and I wanted to make her a little baby blanket so I spent the rest of the evening crocheting. Okay guys, this is the blue version of the fit. This is what I have been wearing today. And this is what I've done today. I went around with some extra black on the center and on the letters and I made it a little bit thicker. I actually did a couple different rounds of it. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys. If you want more in-depth rug tutorials, let me know. Drop your questions below and I will try and do them on my next frame. And then I think I showed you guys this, but I pretty much just cut it down. And now it is time to turn this bad boy around and add the glue. I'm hoping tonight it has enough time to dry so that then tomorrow I can put all of the rugs together. It would be really Really cool to have my rugs done and be able to put the backing on and then hot glue the back onto them that would be spectacular so we're gonna go ahead and start gluing it is 8 42 p.m. so we're going to do this and then I'm going to finish up some work I did a lot of computer work today and then in between on my breaks I would tuft and shave so it's just been a mixture of art and work today so let's get to gluing this is only my second canvas I've ever done of making rugs before, and this is my favorite part. I don't like that it's kind of messy, and I was a little bit worried about getting this on my clothes the whole time, so I might start wearing like a little apron just because I tend to be messy and I don't want any anxiety in my art room. This is for fun only, but I really enjoy this process because I know that first of all, the project is almost done and I have always been someone who really enjoys messy projects 
and I know that I don't always get to indulge in messy projects and I feel like this is like the messiest part is putting this glue onto the rugs and I just find the whole process very therapeutic and it's kind of like just solidifying your art like this is how you're gonna look forever and you are so close to being done with this project. Every evening and every morning, I like to begin and end my day with my favorite treat. And recently I've been obsessed with these cacao lattes and I've also been making chai lattes, but cacao is full of so many amazing health benefits and I feel like it really helps enrich my mind and it's filled with magnesium. So when I'm not utilizing my magnesium mist, I can have some cacao and it's also just a healthier alternative to chocolate. Chocolate. and all I do is I just do some raw cacao with a little bit of honey and then I whisk it up in a bowl with some hot water and I heated up some almond milk I decided to add a little bit of cinnamon today as well it just adds a little bit of oomph to it and then I pour the cacao into the hot milk and then I also speak some affirmations into it, of course. And this is what I like to sip on whenever I'm winding down my day. And it's just a really beautiful beverage. Okay, bye Shiggy. Bye Shiggy, I love you. I love you too. If you have never tried cacao, I highly suggest you do so. It is my favorite part of every single day. Hello! We have made it to the next morning and today we are going to be cutting out my rugs. They honestly feel super firm and not too sticky thankfully and I tried to do a little bit less glue than I did last time on my first pair of rugs just because they were still a little bit too sticky but I feel like these are really good. I need to invest in a box cutter or something like that because I only have this little guy. I do have scissors as well, so if I need to take everything off and just cut it with scissors, I could also definitely do that. So I'm gonna grab some scissors and I'm going to start cutting these out. It's actually cutting really well. I think I'll do the details with this little knife. Oh no, I forgot they stick to each other. Okay, we got rug number one done. She's curving a little bit, but with the backing on, I think that she'll do really good. And then I'm gonna go on the edges and just like fold it over. Just because the glue is still very lightly tacky. So I want to just go ahead and fold all the corners like this on top of each other. And then that also saves me from having to hot glue as much with the edges. At this point in the rug process, I am finally starting to see the finished result. I am taking off the carpet from the frame. And then after this, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to lay out our rugs. Sometimes I do this one at a time just cause it's a little bit easier. And on any rounded part, I'm making a little slit and then cutting down towards the rug. This just makes it a little bit easier whenever you are folding in your seams. If your glue isn't as tacky as mine, I've seen some people go in with a hot glue gun and you can just put some hot glue and then fold it right down so that you can have some really crisp, clean edges. I will go and cut off any extra backing that's there. It's a little bit easier with straight edges. I just cut at the corners and then then I'm able to fold the whole piece down. And so the process goes a little bit faster with pieces like this, whereas the smiley face one, I had to consistently cut and fold and the donut one. 
but this is what they all look like when they are all finished being cut out. Now all we need to do is add the backing. I got this backing off of Amazon Marketplace. I really like this one over the first one that I chose because it has some non-slip qualities to it with the little texture that's on the bottom. So I'm laying the textured side down and then laying out my rugs onto the backing material. I'm gonna leave all of my backing material, my glue, and my canvas and pretty much all the things that I use to create these rugs. I have an Amazon storefront and I have a rug tufting supply list that you guys can go take a look at if you're interested in using any of the supplies that I use for your rug tufting journey. Once I have all of my rugs placed onto the backing, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace them so that it'll be easier for me to cut out. Um, I really like doing it this way because I have another rug underneath it so I can't just go and cut it right um, facing down because I might cut my bottom rug so this is what works for me. Now let's take a look at the finished rugs. This Monstera rug right here next to the donut is actually one of the first rugs that I made on my original canvas and the rest of the rugs are just placed throughout my art room. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode and I hope you guys enjoyed making some crafts with me. This is just what I've been up to and a glimpse into my everyday reality. If you're interested in shopping any of these rugs, be sure to check out my website and Again, thank you so much for being here.